Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install Debian into your VMware workstation. It's a very simple process to do, but you may face a little bit of issue during the configuration when you install it. So this video is just going to show you the whole process, how you can get it into your lab environment, such as VMware workstation. Now let's jump into it. If you search or Google, you can find that Debian.org, this website, on their homepage, you will see this big download button. This will get you a net installed ISO file, a small, about 700 meg ISO file, which you can use to install. You also can choose this other download. Here you will see this small install image or complete install image. A small install image, which is only 700 megabytes. A large one, which have all desktop environments, it's about 3.7 gigabyte. So in this case, we are gonna just using this download button to start downloading and do our installation, which is easy way to do if you have internet. Of course, if you don't have internet, then you may think about to using a large complete installation image, so you can install it without an internet connection. Now let's click on it download or start it depending on internet speed it may take a couple minutes to get it done so i will pause the video for now once I finish downloading i will continue i'm having vmware workstation 17 pro uh, but if you have seen other versions fine the installation step will be exactly the same you just need to choose your downloaded Debian file. For me, I already selected it. It's on my D drive temp folder. Next. It will automatically find it a Linux. You don't have to change it. We can give it the new name, Debian 13. I will keep the default folder for now. Next. Since this is lab testing, 20 gigabytes is in more than enough for me for testing. You can change the size to 60, 100 based on your need. You can keep the default hardware, or if you don't have USB sound card, you can remove those. Close it. Finish. So now you created your VM and we can power on from here. There are a couple options. There's a graphical install and the install. I like to use in the second one, just install. English, United States, American English, those default settings. I will keep using default name, no changes, domain name. I don't have any domain name here root password I will keep the default which is empty also I'm gonna use a new user netsec continue you have to choose a password for your new user we type your password again continue I'm in the Eastern For a partition, the disk, I'm going to use in the whole disk for this lab. All files in one partition. Finish partition and write changes to disk. Make sure you choose yes, write changes to the disk. Wow, now it's installing the base system right now.
the whole installation will take probably a couple of minutes. This is a very basic system installation. I won't install any desktop on it, so it will be much faster. If you have actual installation media for desktop environment, then you can plug in and then they will scan for it. Since we are not having that, we just are not doing any actual installation media. So now we're gonna use uh, United States. We're gonna choose Debian Archive Miller. We don't have any proxy. Now it's installing those default software, basic ones. I don't want to participate in the package usage survey, so I'll choose no to continue. Here is the software you can choose. Since I will install this as my server, so I don't need desktop environment. So I'm gonna check those desktop environment. And I do need SSH server. Uh, for if I need a web server, I will install it later on, so I don't need to do it now. Continue. They are asking install a bootloader, of course. We are gonna go back because we are gonna choose a default one, dev SDA. Now it's finishing the installation. Done. So we just need to reboot. Now the installation has been completed. Let's log in using a user account we just created during the installation. Perfect. So we have IP address 192.168.30.134. This is a netted IP. We should be able to go to internet. Perfect. So if you want to do APT update, then you will see it here. So everything works well. Basic installation. So you have Debian 13 Trixie installed on your local lab environment. For me, it's a VMware workstation. Simple, easy, straightforward. If you would like to install any packages, you can do that. For example, I would like to install HTOP, which is going to show you the system resources. like to install a screen, that's a software I use a lot as well. So those are all doing well, screen, perfect, exit from there.
you can see Debian version 13 Trixie has been installed successfully on this VMware workstation, my home lab environment. So that's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give me some up and subscribe my channel if you haven't. See you in my next one. Thank you.